Today I'll be taking you through an example of a government contract analysis report built by Collective and Power BI. This report enables the Government Procurement Division to make decisions and answer questions about important government contracts. There are three pages in this report, the Overview page, Labor Rate Pricing, and Labor Statistics. We'll be starting on the Overview page. There are two main filter groups here, the Procurement Statistics filters and the Contract Sign Date filter. The filters allow you to focus in on certain parts of the data. For example, if you wanted to look only at contracts dealing with labor hours, you'd select that from the drop-down menu here and the visuals instantly populate below. Below that are four helpful visuals. This one allows you to see key metrics like average contract amount, the average number of hours spent on each project, the average number of FTEs on jobs, and the average hourly rate. The average hourly rate by department visual gives you the opportunity to visually compare the average hourly rate and the number of jobs across different contracting departments. You can easily determine that the National Gallery of Art has the highest average hourly rate, while the General Service Administration has the lowest hourly rate and the highest count of jobs. The map visual on the right gives you insights about the contracts by location. Most of the contracts took place in the northeastern United States. Below that, you can compare statistics such as average contract amount, average FTEs on job, average hourly rate, and average hours spent on each project. And you compare these across vendor segments. Consulting has the highest average contract amount, and cybersecurity has the highest average FTEs on job and the lowest average hourly rate. Now let's switch over to labor rate pricing. The key filters in this analysis help to analyze labor rates with greater ease. For example, you can filter by business size, education level, minimum years of experience, customer segment, vendor name, and labor category. The first visual tells you the average cost of labor in the current year, next year's average labor price, and the average price of the second year's labor. Below that is a visual that breaks down the average hourly rate by department. You can break it up by labor price by vendor and labor price by labor category. The visual on the right depicts a graph of the average price by year of experience broken down by education level. You can see that on average, the labor price increases with years of experience and trends higher for those with their PhD and lower for those with an associate's degree. Now let's switch over to the labor statistics page. You can filter this page by industry group and by job title. The hourly rate statistics range from an average of $15.07 per hour in the 10th percentile to $37.34 per hour in the 90th percentile. The annual salary statistics range from $33,000 in the 10th percentile to $84,000 in the 90th percentile. This was a brief overview of a co government contract analysis built by Collective and Power BI. Contact us at gocollective.com to work with us.